Okay, here we are in Bath. <laughs> Bath in the UK. Look at that pigeon. Look. And you may think this is one of the main castles of Bath. But no, you would be wrong. It's just an abandoned homeless uh, under the freeway type thing. No one actually cares about this in Old Bath. They care about the Roman baths and everything in the city. But if this was in a country like the US, people would be like, wow, look at this castle. But unfortunately, it's just where people pee. And I don't think we can get in, no. But look at these locks and cobwebs and... Yeah, who knows what stories this might tell us, but yes. Anyway, let's go to Bath. It's been 13 years since I last came here. The wife has never been to Bath, there she is. And uh, yeah, we did the Bath Half Marathon in 2009. It did sort of like a couple of loops. Uh, but now we're going to go into the city, check it out, and uh, see what's changed over the last decade. Just coming into town. It's quite hard to drive in uh, in Old Bath. Here's Churchill Bridge, look. Dedicated to uh, Winston Churchill himself. And, uh, yeah, we're heading into town. Quite hard to park. Uh, you can pay for parking, but uh, yeah, there's a bit of a walk involved if you want to park for free. There's the forum look. Just coming into town. It's a Sunday today. Most towns in the UK are dead on Sundays. Not Old Bath look. Old Bath is busy on a Sunday. Old Bath's a little busy. We have Smashburger now, wow. So America's taking over Old Bath, isn't it? Saw a wing stop, a Smashburger. Five Guys, Popeyes. It's all coming here. Right, some, uh, this is retail bath. Oh, there's a pigeon, look, the bath pigeon. Krispy Kreme. Oh, we've got a dedicated Krispy Kreme now. In Old Bath. H and M. Oh, a bath dog. Bath dog. Hello, bath dog. Hello, bath dog. All right. Uh, no, no one cares about retail. Let's get to the good stuff. Look at this. Like butterflies. Lots of butterflies. To help you shop. If you're ever confused about buying a dress or a pair of trousers, then uh, yeah, the butterflies are here to help. Oh, I wanted them, but I didn't need any. You wanted them, but I already have ten. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Bath's busy, isn't it? Little cobble street, look, kind of. It's like a new cobble. Yeah, brick street. Yeah, a new brick street, but made to look a little old. Yeah. Check it out, look. We're in a bit of a historical area, it seems. Just off the retail shops, look. And, uh, oh. Look at these, look. Look at this. These hot springs were used by the Romans as early as the first century. And look at that, so you can't sit down. <coughs> that could be Bath Abbey there as well. I suppose we'll find that out shortly. Yeah, there's even some Romans in here. Let's uh, extend her and have a look. There you 
you go, a free peek just for you. Look at this look. Right down here, look, underneath this coupon lies the Roman baths. And uh, well, today, this is what we have today, look, man with dog, older cobbles, look, older cobbles, and the Holland and Barrett, look, that's what we have today. There's the pump room. Uh, trying to look inside, look, the bath shop. Maybe we don't want a shop, we want the pump room. No through route, please use main entrance. Wow. Mm. Look at this wall, look. Have you ever been like uh, by the seaside and you see uh, the brick there get kind of pummeled over time? Wow. Has certainly been uh, here some time. Here's the columns. I suppose this is the baths. You can get a hot sausage, look. You'll be all right. Here we go, look, Jack's of Bath. What do they sell? Maybe some souvenirs. I see a Paddington. Let's see, it's... Oh, it's fancy souvenirs. Very fancy. It's so Mad Hatter. All these uh, teapots, look. And postcard. There's the bath, look. 35 pence. There's a lot of kind of security slash. No, I think there's security outside each of these rooms. Oh, look at that man bun. Let's look at the man bun. That is grade A man bun there. In the meantime, look, Bath Abbey. Oh, no, it's a Mohawk man bun. Whoa, ho ho. Call the cops. Look at that. It's a good one, isn't it? So how much are the baths then? Look, ooh, 2750. It's expensive, isn't it? Well, we're not seeing the baths today. <laughs> Wow, look, there's a girl on a bicycle piano. It's like that uh, Alanis Morissette music video, isn't it? Is that her? Wait, no, different person. She was down the street on a, on a piano bike. I don't remember who it was. I think it's called A Thousand Miles. Yeah, that one. Look at this. Ooh, Beth Abbey. Now... This one might be cheaper than the baths because things like cathedrals and churches uh, usually don't. Uh, well, they're non profits, aren't they? So. Everything certainly looks a lot older around here. Even has a drink, a little drink. So we're in a shop, we're in a shop. Prices not that bad, not that bad. Fridge magnets, look. Soaps. Queen duck, even. And even a little pen with a crown on it, look. Pretty good, isn't it? Mm. Here we go, look, here's the hop on hop off bus here in Bath. Uh, it has the apt name, the Toots bus. So if you don't pass gas on the bus, you have to pay double. 
It's a bit of a scandal, is it? Isn't, isn't it? Look at this, look. Water of life. You press this button, what happens? Nothing. Oh, that's a shame. Look at her, look. So I asked the guy in Bath Abbey, he said we can visit at 4.30, it's uh, 3.18 and he said unless we're singing we're not allowed in right now and uh, didn't fancy singing so we'll come back at 4.30 perhaps or perhaps not, I don't know. <coughs> ah yes, quite a good abbey look, look at these structural kind of things there to help support the towers. Little England flag at the top there. I wonder why they choose an England flag and not a Union Jack. I'm not sure. Now I know what you've all been wondering. Is there a Poundland in Bath? Well yes there is. Check it out. Right there. See you thought this town was too fancy for a Poundland but it's not true. So then, uh, there's some old characters in, uh, in Old Bath here. A lot of uh, clothing statements, characters. A lot of tourists, lots of tourists. There's an Irish bar here. You know when you're coming up with a business name and you're like, oh, let's open an Irish bar. We need, uh, we need O'Brien, O'Brien. Uh, let's call it Flan O'Brien's. <laughs> It's funny. You know Flan O'Brien doesn't really exist. He's in someone's mind somewhere. <laughs> Over there, look, Boston Tea Party. So it's like a town where they uh, cater for the tourists, trying to make everything English, but you've also got the locals as well. Uh, it's a big mix of cultures. But um, on top of there's a lot of, a lot of posh people. A lot of posh people as well in Old Bath. So, uh, yeah, quite diverse groups of people. Quite an interesting city, really. I've seen the word uh, artisan a lot as well. Look at that. And even a Tesco Express. I saw this in London too. Like, I think there's a gelato craze right now. Hey, look, Stephen. Stephen's in Bath. Very good. Stephen. Stephen. Oh, there goes Stephen. He's playing games. I think we're being followed. We're in Weatherspoons and look who showed up. Piano bicycle girl again. Third time now. Look at all these blackberries, look. They're in season. As long as you don't get the ones at dog height, then uh, yeah, they're free to eat. So many too. Look at all the seagulls up there. A couple of kayakers coming through. So we're on the other bridge now. We've carved a loop. I'm just heading back to the car. Look, this old bridge here. There's little stars here. Little stars. <laughs> 